Good morning and welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Uh, this week we're at Ole Bowl or Old Bowl State Park. They pronounce it two different ways. Uh, State Park, North Central PA, Potter County. It's named after a famous fiddle player from Norway. He settled here in 1852 and the conditions were too harsh and they ended up, uh, he went to Wisconsin and Minnesota. So we'll, uh, right now we're taking the dog for a walk. This is the swimming area. They drain it down for the winter. There's a dam up here that they pull uh, slats out to let the water out. But we'll, uh, I'll take a ride on a bike later and uh, take a ride around the park. It's only, uh, I think, 132 acres. It ranks 99th in size, so it is pretty small. There's 121 state parks total. I think the smallest one is, what, six acres or something Sand like that? Bridge. Yeah, Sam, Sam Bridge. It's only four or six acres. But it's a nice park. We come here in April for uh, spring cleanup, volunteer. So we're usually here twice a year, sometimes three times. Kettle, kick, Kettle Creek runs through it. We're coming up on uh, kids fishing area now. But uh, they just stocked uh, last Wednesday. I think on the uh, 6th or something like that of October. This is Friday. We've been here since last Saturday. The fishing hasn't been too good, but I've been getting out. I'm going to go out again today. Show you the dam here. Lexi sees another dog. Yeah, there's two loops here for uh, camping. One's a pet loop. That's where we're staying naturally. And then the other one's uh, no pets. It's over here. There's like 80 sites total. Um, most of them have electric. Right, she sees the dog. Stop it. Hey. Stop it. We don't act like that. Yeah, it's funny. You put her on a leash and she sees a dog, she goes nuts. Every other week she goes to day camp and she plays with 30, 40 other dogs and she's perfectly fine. You put her on a leash and nuts her. She has gotten better. <laughs> not, not much. Uh, I want to point something out here. Uh, the park manager sees this. She's probably going to go ballistic. But this truck pulled in the middle of the night. No, this, this is a day use area. It closes down at sunset. Well, the guy pulled over. He even blocked up his camper and he's in there sleeping. So she sees that. I don't, I don't think she's going to be too happy. Get a shot of the day use area. Barry's over there on a tractor now with a... Uh, Big blower blowing the leaves. We'll pick them up later. That's good. It'll be less we got to pick up in uh, April. A little playground for the kids. A few pavilions. There's uh, vault toilets over there. And this is the. Uh, kids fishing area. They have a derby here in I think May for the kids, June. June. Then about two miles downstream from here is the fly fishing project. That's what that's actually where they stock at. They usually stock the first first week of October every year. There's the amphitheater. 
We went there uh, Monday, actually, uh, Columbus Day. I was surprised they had a program going on. The naturalist here, Brian, he's real nice, put, put on a very good presentation. Nice little walking bridge going across the creek. Got horseshoe pits, but I've never seen anybody uh, pitching shoes here. There's a trail here that goes up top of the hill. It's um, I think I think it's Vista Trail or something like that. But that takes you up to where Ole Bull was building his house, and he never completed it because, like I said, the conditions here were so harsh that uh, I don't even know how long they stayed if they made it through the winter or not. Yeah, this is pretty much one of our favorite parks. And over here you got a uh, bridge takes you across the creek to the other loop of the campground. There's not much on uh, a lot of trails here. They probably, I don't know, maybe have five, six miles of hiking trails. Uh, but the STS, Susquehannock Trail System, comes through here. And in fact, you should be seeing orange blaze because it comes across this bridge. Then continues up past where that camper was parked and goes up the hill. All right, I'm going to go for a ride here, take the garbage out, and take a ride around the park, and uh, show you what show you what it looks like. Uh, here's our site. Becky's mom's up with us. I got to take the garbage out too. So I'll get all that done, and our new uh, addition to the camper. Let's go for a ride and check out the park. Yeah, there's two ways into the park. Here's one road. Another entrance is up further. There's a park office. They do have a nice lodge here. They just put air conditioning in it. I know the upstairs got real uh, warm, so they put in incrementals in each room. Pretty nice though. It's got its own little playground, fire ring. Here's the day use area where that guy's camping out at. Dumpsters, recycle. Let's get past Barry here, get out of the noise. That's a lot of leaves. Little kids have fun in them piles. <laughs> yeah, a few weeks ago, they got like six inches of rain and uh, they had to evacuate people in this loop over here. The water was up over this little water bridge. I always like that view. It's a nice picture. Got two camp spots here. They are not electric, but they're uh, one of two of the best here. Good morning. How are you? Okay, so you're taking your dinosaur for a walk. That's nice. He enjoys that. <laughs> and this side has a little playground, horseshoes. Volleyball. Yeah, we've never camped out over here. We always stayed over in the pet side. I'll show you.
show you another uh, nice tent site that's pretty secluded right on a creek. Yeah, this is Friday. Come tonight, this whole place will be jam-packed. And actually, for uh, normally during the week this time of year, it thins out pretty good, but uh, a lot of people here all week long. They got their own shower house. This is also the swimming area. There's the campground host putting new tags on all the poles. All right, I was just talking to some of the campers here. Uh, here's another, uh, there's no electric back here, but for tents, it's pretty nice and secluded. The creek's right over, right over a little hill here. Yeah, 57, 58, and 59. Looks like someone's coming on 59 today. You see creek's right there. Nice spot, so. This camper here you may have seen out in my uh, Blue Knob video. He was a campground host there. Yeah, I believe all the ones on the right here are non-electric. Yeah, I don't see no electric on them. Some nice spots though. Got some room in between them. I'm trying not to get uh, strangers in the video. And there's 79, so I guess there's 79 spots here. Yeah, there's a couple trails to go up the hill. And video shut off again. I'm about tired as GoPro. Yeah, but there's a couple trails go up over there. Take you up to uh, where he's making his log cabin at. See that guy still camped out in the uh... All right, camera shut off again. I turned off the voice recognition. I don't know if that's what it was. This thing will just shut off on its own. It'll switch to pictures, time lapse. It just does it on its own. It will take a ride up here. Uh... This will be the other entrance and the maintenance buildings up here and camper storage. The uh, group camping's back here also. That's back here. They got a couple different spots. The main road up here is on uh, 144, so if you're leaving, want to go south on 144, uh, you're better off coming to this uh, entrance here. 
make a right you're pretty much if you go to the other one you're pretty much making a u-turn to get out and that's the upper entrance there's the uh, maintenance area this will be split wood at in the spring that's usually what I end up getting volunteered for and back here there's a trail back here I can't remember the name of it see the yellow and blue blazes and this is also the camper storage I think it's like a dollar a day or something like that I don't know but I guarantee you're gonna end up with some uh, mice or uh, chipmunks in your camper there used to be a bunch back here that was here for quite a while there's only one left now I guess they got to try to get a hold of the owners and that before they get rid of them Yeah, this thing's windows busted out. Surprised the tires are still holding air. And the trail goes back through there, and then. Right down in here is a nice uh, hole for fishing. It's pretty big. I was talking. I was talking to one of the campers. He was asking about it. He don't. He doesn't necessarily fly fish all the time, but uh, this is open to anything: bait, lures. All right. Let me get down to the office. All right, now we're on a pet loop. Here's the dump station. The sign on the left is number three. It's not too bad. A little on a hill for your uh, party side, but we stayed there a couple times. All the ones on the right are uh, tent sites, no electric. Hi guys. Pretty good itself. We got these two here on the left, they're seven and eight. That's usually where we stay, number eight, but it wasn't available all week. This site here, 11, I think is the best uh, tent site on this side. Then on the right here is 14. And then we're back at our site number 26.
We're having a pork roast and homemade sauerkraut. I can't wait. Another hour, she'll be done. Becky's peeling potatoes now. And Pat is reading her book. How's the book, Pat? The book's good. <laughs> Always carry a book to read. I think she's read about 12 so far. There was a truck parked up there where I parked. Hopefully this guy's further downstream or upstream. We'll see. Come on. Missed him. <laughs> Come on, little guy. There you go. Come on, sooner I get that out, sooner I get, get you back on water. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Come on, you're okay. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right, relax. Okay, here you go, buddy. Good. There you go. Okay, little buddy. Thank you. Come on. There you go. I just got done fishing. I caught six fish and uh, I can't forget to turn the camera on. I actually did get one in the net and on film, but yeah, I was so excited to get a fish on, I forgot to turn the camera on. So I'm headed back to camp. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, today is Saturday. We're leaving tomorrow. It rained pretty much all day today. Six o'clock. Sun came out for a little bit. Skies are a little blue. Got a fire going. It usually rains either the day we're going home or the day before. So we'll have to dry everything out once we get home. And I work a double on Monday, so I probably won't get to it till Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, it's a four hour ride home from here, so we, we're not gonna get home super early to set everything up, so. And we'll enjoy the fire for a while. You're on film. Ah. All right, we're just about all packed up, ready to go. Let's see, if we just got a little bit left. Of course, it rained. We gotta dry everything out when we get home. We gotta dry everything out when we get home. Pat, go ahead. Say. You want me to hold Lexi while you put the awning in slow for Rich so he can dust the leaves off? You better be prepared to hold on to her. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can put her inside. I'm prepared. I'm fine. Come on. There's leaves all stuck to the awning. Sweep them off. So it was a good trip. Beck, what was your high points? Oh. Uh -huh. well, we come here a lot. Okay. <laughs> what was your high points? Relaxing and waiting. Okay. Lexi spent most of the time on a couch. <laughs> My high points were being here at a low point or the lights on that Shire House. Alright. Thanks for checking it out. Bye.